So welcome back everybody. I know my setup is a little different right now. What you see behind me is the interface of all the windows open on Premiere Pro. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select the source window, which is the window where we're gonna be talking about specifically in this video. Okay, so we're gonna jump right in here. I'm gonna blast through this real quick for you guys. All right, the source window is a window that we would use to view, select, modify, and shorten your video clips and audio clips. It's essentially equivalent to a painter's palette where the painter selects the colors that make up his final painting. Hope that makes sense to you guys. So before I get into all the different uh, features on here, I wanna go over some shortcuts. So when you're in the source window, there are shortcuts that you're going to use. You're working in a non-linear editing uh, software, meaning that when you want to go, let's say here, you don't have to take the time code indicator and drag it to there. You simply just click and the time code indicator will jump, will literally teleport for you from that point to where you want to be. So keep that in mind. You don't have to drag it. It's non-linear. For example, this is linear, dragging like this. This here, jumping, is non-linear. All right, real quick, the plus and minus keys. So as you can see, I can zoom in and zoom out on the timeline. Uh, normally, I just keep it all the way out uh, to fully extend it. The other thing is the... Um, the J, the K, and the L keys. The J will go back, the K will pause, and the L will fast forward. Now, the J and the L keys, if you hit them twice, it'll go twice as fast. So I'm gonna hit the J key twice, one, two. Notice it's rewinding. Now I'll stop it with the uh, K key or the space bar. I'm gonna hit the L key. I'm gonna hit the L key again. Hit the L key again, hit the L key again, again and again and again, and hit the K key or the space bar. See that? So you've got a rewind, play, and fast forward. Now the other thing I want you to notice is right now, they're nice and sharp right now. Now if I hit the play button, notice how blurry it looks. I don't want you to panic. That's the program uh, running at a quarter speed, if you can see here, that's the resolution. So if I hit the spot, if I hit the space bar to stop, it gets back to high quality. Now, the reason you have this uh, quarter and half resolution is so that your computer can process what's happening. Um, your final movie won't be at a quarter resolution; it'll be at full resolution. So if you're editing on a laptop or you're editing on a computer that's not that fast, the quarter resolution will come in clutch. The window itself, this is the source window. Like I said, the source window is used to view, select, modify, shorten your video and audio clips. Up here you have what's called, uh, I like to call it the, the hamburger. <laughs> but uh, basically up here you're able to close the panel you're able to unlock it. So as you can see, now it's unlocked. And I'm gonna put it back there. Uh, the source window usually comes together. I like having it with the edit controls. But basically, as you can see here, that allows you to unlock it, dock it, close it, and so on. Each window has this. So there it is, and there it is. Same thing with the uh, project window that we covered in the previous uh, video. The source window has a little plus symbol at the end here which you can edit the buttons that are available. As you can see you have the buttons that are already there but you can add more buttons. For example if you were working with multicam you can actually put that button in there. So the way this works is that you simply just take the button and just drag it over and it'll Add it to there and hit OK. And now this gives me the safety uh, margins. This inner line is the title safe. So if your title is inside of here, it is safe. This is the action safe. 
So if your action is happening inside of the action safe, you're going to see it on your TV. If it's outside of the action safe, it runs the risk of being cut off. Uh, the way you turn that off, if it's bothering you, you can toggle it off down here, on, off. So the uh, time code indicator right here that's blue, as you can see, it correlates with the time code indicator here that's also blue. So if I scroll, the uh, time code scrolls. The other time code on the opposite side that's gray lets you know the duration of the entire clip. So that's uh, 6 minutes, 13 seconds, and 10 frames. All right. Right next is the resolution, which we went over already. Right here in the very middle, you have a thumbnail, which is uh, signifies a uh, video. And then right next to it is a, a, a thumbnail icon of a uh, waveform, which signifies audio. So if you click on that, you'll get to see the audio and you can get you can edit the audio for that particular clip. Um, now the plus and minus keys are helpful in the audio because you're able to zoom in to very precise measurements of your audio waveform. So if let's say you're trying to get rid of a curse, let's say that this and this is a curse right here. You can actually zoom in to get really tight on that curse and get it right at the beginning and then get it right at the end. Okay. Now to go back to your video, just click on this here and now you're able to see the video and hear the audio. Now to drag and bring down just the video, you would basically take this and drag just the video. If you were to drag, if you wanted to drag just the audio, you would take it from here and you drag the audio individually. I'm going to delete that. If you wanted to drag the audio and video together, you can drag it right from the center here and just simply grab it as you can see as a fist. And there you can bring it down to the timeline. Okay, cool. The scale select zoom, you basically can do 10% uh, all the way up to 200%. If you were like, uh, if you were doing some kind of masking or something, I would see that being useful. I normally just leave it at fit uh, to screen. Okay. Um, after that, you have uh, down at the very bottom, you have a marker. So markers are really cool because it's a great way to notate certain some something important that happened on that clip. So, for example, you can select a marker, put it there. Um, you can actually double click on the marker. You can name it. You can put comments to it. You can change the color of the marker. That's really helpful. I usually use it for uh, marking uh, and selecting things like uh, the clapper. So, for example, at the very beginning, there's my marker. And as soon as she marks it, as soon as she marks it, Right there, I'm using the left and right arrow to go frame by frame. Boom, right there, that loud sound. I hit M, marker, and I'll make it red, and I'll call this marker. Take one. And now I have my marker, okay? Uh, that's how I would use the marker. You could use it for other things too. I mean, you can get very creative with the marker. Moving on. Um, all of these settings right here have a corresponding shortcut and to become an effective editor you want to learn the shortcuts but I will go over every single thing here. The cool thing is that if you forget what I'm saying you can rewind this video or you can simply just hover over and you will see that that is the mark in. Now the way that you make selections on the source window is by marking in points and marking out points. So for example I will use the J key to go back hit it twice, two times J, three times, four times J. That's me there. I'm going to fast forward. That's LL. And he's coming in, so I'm going to go back to J key. And as soon as he, before he closes the door, I'm going to hit in, and I'm going to hit the space bar. Now notice, my endpoint is here all the way to the end. So it's going to play, if I bring this whole thing down, it's going to bring down all of this. I don't want all of that. So I'm going to hit the space bar. And I'm going to hit the, the fast forward a little bit, which is the L key. And right when he covers his, uh, when he kind of like gets a better view. There. 
right there, he moves back. That's my out point. Now I can actually bring this down by using the insert. And the insert is the comma key. There, it brings it right there, right where the timecode indicator was. I'm gonna Command Z. Now the other one, which is the period, is override. So basically it overrides this section right here for the length of in and out points that I have. So I'm gonna hit override. Boom, it just overrides it. Notice the edge of the clip did not move. So I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna hit the insert. Notice that the length of the clips move. So keep in mind that insert pushes, overrides, just lands on top, all right? Now the next icon here is export frame. So if I wanted to take a picture of this frame for whatever reason, I literally just take a picture and I name it and then I hit save. I can name it to whatever I, I see fit and I uh, import it at the, in the, into the project, hit okay. And now it's part of the project and there is a still frame of this frame. I can use it as a reference frame, whatever you like. Now you have the in and out points. So you put make an in point, make an out point, and th that's your selection out of this whole video. Out of this whole video, those, that's your selection. You can go to the in point, you can go to the out point, uh, play, rewind, go back one frame, forward one frame, and then the insert and out. out. Now, if you want to get rid of your um, in and out point, you can literally just right click and you'll have a bunch of options. So you right click and you can clear the in or clear the out or you can clear the in and out. So I'm gonna clear the in and out. Another thing is that you can right click and show audio units. So if you're working very precisely with audio, you could actually show the audio units like so. But I'll go back and take that off um, and just show the time code indicator and the regular time code. That pretty much covers the entire source window. Um, if I have forgotten anything, make sure you let me know down in the comments and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one when we go over the project.